Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be doing a restoration video on this old tube style record player. So, what happened is I was going to a garage sale today and I found this really nice tube record player and it was only $9, so I bought it. Now, the only problem with it is it's got some cosmetic damage on it, the leather casing has been kind of broken, and the electronics don't work completely. So in this video, I'm going to fix it and make it work good. So let's start by taking a look at this um, old record player. So I'm going to open it up, and as you can see, it's a nice uh, record player. So after removing a, a few screws inside this um, record player, I was able to remove this protective cap that covers all the electronics. So as you can see inside here, we have the chassis, which contains all the electronics that let lets the tube amplify the signals from the record player. And here we have the actual speaker and uh, audio transformer right here. This is what actually takes the high impedance output of the vacuum tube and turns it into a low impedance input for the speaker. And then over here we have the record player setup. So let's test this out. And you can see that the record player isn't actually getting up to speed. But you can hear that the tube amplifier has warmed up, as you can hear from the sound. But sadly, it's just 60 hertz hum from the AC. Okay, so I got the arm activated. And as you can hear, no sounds coming out of the, the tube amplifier speakers. Even adjusting the volume and tone knobs, I can't get any any change in the record. Now, if you listen closely, I can hear a slight noise coming from the um, the needle of the record, which shows me the needle is fine, and the record is spinning, but not fast enough. But somehow the sound isn't getting to the tube amplifier, and it's not getting amplified, which tells me something's wrong in the chassis, which is what I'll have to fix. So. We'll start by removing everything inside here and taking out the, tu the tube chassis to take a look at it. So, now I can take it apart. First I'll unscrew the turnstile and grab it and gently lift it up and move it over to the side. So that way I can move all the parts in here and access the chassis. Now after unscrewing all the parts that were attached to the wood case in here, I was able to lift everything safely out and scoot the box away so that way I can have more room to work on the chassis and the turntable. Also notice something funny I saw in here. This is made in Great Britain. I guess this thing's uh, very high quality. So now, um, now to fixing and diagnosing where all these wires go. So obviously these two white wires are input wires from 110 AC and this goes to the wall. Now these wires go to the output transformer on the speaker and they go inside here and then last of all these red and black wires up here these go if you follow the wires all the way up to this which goes to the needle on the phonograph so now all we have left to worry about are these wires so I've looked inside here and I can see that the red and white wire this one and the white and brown wire the red wire goes from the turntable to the selenium rectifier inside the chassis which tells me that this is the power wire and this is coming straight from AC this white wire is now this black and yellow wire are coming from the the motor on the turntable and they're going to the tube filament which means that the motor on the turntable is acting as a kind of step down transformer to power the tube filament so now it's time to completely redo the inside of this um, this chassis so that way we can get all the electronics working so what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to start by recapping everything 
I'm also going to draw a schematic out, so that way you can see what we're dealing with inside this uh, amplifier. So, when you're drawing out a diagram of uh, tube chassis, um, the reason I'm drawing out this diagram is because it wasn't on the internet, and because when I'm going to replace all these capacitors, I want to know where everything goes on the tube chassis. So I do this diagram so I'll know after I desolder everything and replace different parts. And it also, drawing this out helps me understand how the how the actual tube chassis functions. And so, now after I drew up the whole circuit diagram of this entire record player, as you can see here, now we can start replacing the different components that need replacing. Now usually the selenium rectifier, which is right here on the circuit diagram, and right here inside the chassis, those usually need to be replaced with a silicon diode, and then most of these capacitors will need to be replaced too, which is probably what's causing the um, the no, no sound on the on the speaker. And then a few other things might need to be replaced, but uh, I don't think so. So let's get started. Now this video already has a lot of content, so I'm going to save the recapping for the next video. So stay tuned for the next video for the recapping of this chassis and the testing to see if it works. So um, thanks for watching and please subscribe.